Hey, this is Nate with Wash Sensei. Just wanted to do a quick web review for you. Kind of give you a little free attack plan on some things you can do to help outrank your local competition. I like to go over three things, content, citations, and backlinks. I always start with the content. With Google, content is king. They want to see about 1,500 words on this homepage, and they want to see the type of search terms that people are searching when they're looking on Google. They want to know that your site is relevant to what people are searching for, so they want to see those keywords and keyword phrases actually in the content on your site. There are other ways to get those keywords found for your site, but getting them organically on the site in the content is the fastest and easiest way to do it. Yeah, I pulled up two of the local, local competition here, and they're kind of the same. They've got some content on there, but they don't have a lot. You know, the sites look good, but the pictures and stuff like that, Google really doesn't see that. Google only sees the content. So if we look, you know, this guy here, he really doesn't have any content at all, but he's still showing up on that, you know, top couple on that first page. And like I said, there are other ways to get the keywords in there, but the easiest and fastest way to do it is to get it organically in your content. Arifs is a tool that we use to kind of break this down. Right now, you're showing up for two organic keywords. You've got your company name here and then this B charge. I don't even know what that is, but um, I don't really count the company name. Those people already know who you are. They're looking for you if that's what they're typing in. So I like to see what I call the generic keywords. You know, if we look here, these guys have 86 keywords. These guys have 51. So we'll go back to VIP and look at theirs. But what I consider a generic keyword, something like this right here, car detailing, Tallahassee. It says what you do and where you do it. And if people are looking for somebody to come out and detail their car, but they don't know who they want to do it, that's the type of stuff they're gonna type in. You can see right here that this one search phrase gets searched 250 times a month and they're in the second position. They get 26 visits a month to their website. And you can see some of these higher volume keywords that, that they've got. Those are the type of keywords we want to get on your site and really get you ranking for those and drive that traffic to your website. The other thing that I like to talk about are your citations. Right here, this is the Google Map Pack, and citations are what help you get there. And as you can see, VIP is already in here. But what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number, exactly the way that it's listed on your Google My Business page in multiple directories across the internet, such as Yellow Pages, Yelp, Merchant Circle, Better Business Bureau. Those are some of the more popular ones, but there's hundreds and hundreds of them out there. We use a tool called WhiteSpark to search those. Now right now, you have 14 citations, VIP has 23, and Tallahassee has nine. And as you could see before, Tallahassee is not up in that map pack. But one of the things we do when we start helping somebody with our marketing is we immediately go in and add about 100 citations to your site as quickly as we could do it to try to get you bounced up into that map pack as fast as possible. And then from there, go back and work on the content, the keywords, and things like that to get you also organically found so that you're taking up two spots on that first page. The third thing are your backlinks. Currently you're not showing up for any backlinks, but what a backlink is is any website that has a link that points back to you. If I go to a different website and there's something I can click on that takes me to your website, that is a backlink. It's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the better but not all backlinks are created equal. You do want to try to keep them relevant to the industry that you're in. So one of the ways to get those would be blog commenting. You know, find a blog that's about automotive stuff or auto detailing, read up on the articles, post a comment in there, put a link back to your site. You know, some of those will give you backlinks. There are other ways to do it, but that's probably the easiest one. You know, if we go here and look, these guys only have 17 backlinks. These guys have 817. One thing we can do is go in here and see where they're getting their backlinks from. And if it's something that we want, we just go to that same site and try to get a backlink for you. So we kind of check the power, check the status of the backlinks that they have and make sure they are the type of backlinks we want. You don't want to get a bunch of spammy type of backlinks in there. So we go in and pick and choose the ones we want. I call it the copycat method. You know, find the guy that's went in and copy what he has and then go out and find some more on our own. 
So that's my basic overview for you. Just a quick recap. Content, you're looking about 1,500 words on that home page. Get those keyword phrases in there organically on your page in the content. That is the fastest, easiest way for Google to find them. Your citations, go out there and get in as many of those directories as you can. It is something you can do on your own. It just takes a lot of time to do it. You got to track down the directories, sign up for them. Generally, they're going to send you an email. Open it up, click on the verification link, go back in and put in your information. But it's not super hard to do. It just takes a lot of time. As far as the backlinks go, some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's blog commenting. There's what I call joint ventures. You know, say you got a mechanic in the area that you're friends with and you guys kind of have the same client base, but don't do the same jobs. You know, he could put a link to your site on his. You could put a link back to your site, you know, on your site back to his. Um, kind of share some power back and forth that way and maybe pass some business back and forth too. So that's kind of it. You know, if you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My name is Nathan with Wash Sensei. It's 833-946-2215. Thanks for your time.